two dead, dead girls. Two dead girls. Two Hey everybody, it is Jessica with Two Dead Girls. Lisa and I cannot express how excited we are that Walking Dead is coming back. I'm sure you guys are just as excited as we are, but another thing me and Lisa are excited about is to come back and start vlogging with each other again. So I'm taking a little bit of time to put together some of our top five favorite moments from um, not just The Walking Dead, but from Two Dead Girls. So. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Five. Yay! Hey everybody, I'm Jessica. And I'm Lisa. And we are Two, two Dead, dead Girls. girls. Bum, bum. <laughs> That's how they do it on Broadway. <laughs> I want to see Carol. My, that's what I was just going to say. My main goal, I need to see Carol. I need to see Daryl and Carol kiss is what I need to I, see. They need to run toward each other across a crowded field of walkers and just embrace and, like, yep. make out. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I'm waiting for it. It's crazy. Like, is that something... Why they may, I mean, it was it was evident. I mean, they didn't. They, it wasn't something that you had to really look for. When he shot him in the head, there was like worms coming out of his head. So it was really gross. And I, I don't wondering if that's going to be something in the future. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but part of me wonders if when Rick uh, hit Joe from the barbecue place in the head with the axe, if Carl wouldn't have shot that guy in the head, would would he have? Would would Rick have been able to defend himself just with that axe? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think, think so. he would have been able to. I think he was way too weak. He was he way too even, weak. You know, I mean, walkers, you could smash their heads with a with your foot. You yeah. know what I mean? Being like, we, we've seen that before. So he's one that stomp and they're gone. Right. He couldn't make it through with an axe. I think it was just showing really how weak Rick was. Right. And, uh... And next week's preview looks pretty cool because you're going to get to see Glenn and Maggie and Daryl and Beth. Well, I don't really care about Beth, but <laughs> I don't care about Beth. Daryl and Beth, listen. Beth, I have a message for you. <laughs> Beth Green, this is for you. Sing a song under a tree, hands off the redneck, because Carol and Daryl will find each other and you'll be out of the picture. I'm telling you right now, if they kiss, <laughs> I'm going to be so mad. Yes, I don't think he's going to kiss her. I think he looks to, at her more like a little sister, kind of. I hope. Let's hope. That's how much you know you're a dead girl when your son is Daryl Dixon and your husband buys you a machete for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're dead girls. So until next week, I'm Lisa. And I'm Jessica. And we're two dead girls. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, and if you like this video and you want to see more, click on the like button below and check out our Facebook also and like us there. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Oh, you froze. Come back. Come toward the light, Carol Ann. You, you froze for a minute.